Hi guys, you guys love the super drug video. So today I am visiting Boots and we're gonna see how much skincare I can buy. I'd ideally like to buy a serum, a moisturizer, eye cream, maybe a face mask and something for spots because like I've literally got a spot right there. So we're gonna go in and see how much we can buy. I'm gonna like keep a budget in mind for like 20 or 30 pounds. So let's see. Let's go in. I need to find a skincare. They have options here. This is new, but it's kind of like out of the budget today. Uh, it looks pretty cool. I've never seen this brand before. Okay, I think there's nothing here that's in my budget. See, I need something like this for my spot. This is six pounds. I might come back for this actually. I came early, so there's no one, but there's people. There's people. Okay, I love Bioma. Like I tried their makeup cleanser um, and it's really good. But again, out of budget for today. I don't think I've tried this. This is half price and it's an SPF. Should I get it? It's half price. Um, where's the SPF? 15 pounds. I think I might have to get that because that's bargain. And it's dark spot, so I'm gonna get this. This is a really good moisturizer, but the rich one. This is not the rich one. Can't find it, but yeah, that one is really good. And wait, how much is it? They put 25% off on that. This is really good. The Invisible Fluid by La Roche-Posay. But I saw a Monet on TikTok use a tinted version, but they don't have my shade. So I'm gonna try and get this online actually, because I really wanna give this a go. 20 pounds, which is not too bad for an SPF. It's a really good SPF. Obviously we have CeraVe. I love CeraVe. Um, I've really been enjoying this vitamin C serum. It's really good, guys. 29 pounds, it's quite on the higher end, but. I really like it. This is really good like if you have eczema or like really dry patches on your skin. I do like their cleansers. I like the foaming cream to foam cleanser, which is really good if you have dry skin because I just like to wash my face all in one go, even on my eyes. So I like some like simple cleansers, but I have another cleanser in mine. You guys know. Can you guess what cleanser I'm going to get? Bioderma. This is an OG. I used to use this when I was really young. This is £6.50, it's a mini makeup remover. This is what I wanted to get, the um, star face patch, pimple patches, and it's on offer, it's 20% off, so I'm gonna definitely get this, 7 dollars So I get absorbs through, protects skin and shrink spots. I think this is what I need. You do have a purple one, but this says it helps soothe, protect and promote skin recover, recovery after picking. I need the thing that will kill the spot demolish it. Should we just get the yellow because they're fun? Because there has there's this one that sounds one sounds good because it has salicylic acid but I just want to get the yellow one. I was gonna get a basket. I need a serum. I love anything Garnier guys. This so so good. I've gone through like three or four tubes of this. And it's on offer it's on offer for eight sixty five bargain. This eye cream's really nice. But I've already got it, so I want to try some like new stuff today, except for cleanser. And there's literally one left. Hydra Beans. It's on offer for, instead of nine pounds, it's 5.99, which is a bargain. You just can't get better than this. This is like our personal fave, guys, if you haven't tried this. It's the Boots brand moisturizing cream. Me and hubby love this. It's so simple. And guys, look at the price. Five pounds, but I can get it on 4.50. I have to get this. Like, how can I not? And I might also get a sheet mask. One pound 80. I need to calculate how much this all is. So the moisturizer is £4.50 on offer, plus £1.80 for the face mask. With everything, we're at 34 which is not bad because I've got everything. I think I need eye cream and a serum. They are going a bit above the budget here, but let's see what else I can find. How can I forget about Revolution? They have a whole stand of Revolution skincare. I'm going to get this Hydrate Serum. It's 25% off. I was thinking I might need to skip eye cream, but I just found this simple hydrating eye gel, £1.33. Okay, that's going to basket. I don't know how much this is all going to be. I think it's like £34. We've gone above, but we've got some good bits, so let's go to the till. Oh! 
Okay, I've got the goods guys. We are gonna try this at home. I was really happy with like how much it was all, it all was. It was gonna go like 40, 50 pounds, but seven pounds over budget, not too bad. Okay, let's try the skincare that we got. I mean, I think we did a pretty good shop. All of this, first of all, the mask was not planned for, so that's a plus. I've already washed my face with the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cleanser. I rave about this so much, and it just removes my makeup all in one go. And that's how I really like to remove my makeup most of the time. It removes all the makeup, no matter how waterproof it is, and it doesn't strip my skin, which I really like. Yeah, it's just easy and it gets the job done. I actually saw a video of like dermatologists saying that the product that you should probably spend the least amount of money on is cleanser. So <laughs> that's me. I've gone through bottles of these. We are going to use the Boots Vitamin C Sheet Mask. It's plastic free. It gives brighter looking skin within 14 days. It deeply nourishes for skin that looks smooth and radiant. I love skincare that smells like this range. I The scent just is just everything. My This is like my hubby's go-to moisturizer. I've used it a few times as well. It's just really good and it's super affordable. And it does the job. Like this is really, really hydrating, guys. I don't think you understand. So yeah, let's do the mask. I know this, pro this video was more to like try new products, but when I was like taking my budget into account, you, could, you can't not go for these. They're so affordable. It's so cool when you first put it on. I just went on so smoothly, so beautifully. I'm gonna keep this, how long am I supposed to keep this on? 15 minutes. I will be by the back. Take this off. Feels beautiful. It just says to like massage it in. Before we do anything, I wanna try these. I've been dying to try these so bad. The star face pimple patches. I've seen like everyone try these We've got 32 patches in here it says absorbs fluid protects the skin and shrinks spots do you see this it's like humongous so we're gonna put that there. apparently you can get a compact where like you can store these in it obviously did not see that if i do like these i'll probably get <laughs> the compact That's so cute. I'm like part of the youngsters now. I swear like I've seen a lot of teenagers outside with pimple patches on their face. Is this the fashion? Is this the star? I'll let you guys know how I get on with these. They're fun. I've been wanting to try it. I'm really curious to see if it does shrink the spot because this has been here for a couple of days now. It's not going down. It's been very stubborn. Let's go on to eye cream. I was so shocked by the price of this. It's so affordable. I think it's just a regular hydrating eye cream and it says it reduces the appearance of fine lines. It has no color, no perfume. It's just really just to hydrate your under eye really. And to be honest, I would say that my, my under eyes have been very dry lately. I used to use a lot of simple skincare in the uni days, but yeah, it's a very clear gel. So I'm just going to Put that under. I wouldn't say like this is like good for brightening or anything, but if you just need hydration, it feels nice. With all these products that I haven't tried before, it's gonna take a while for me to get used to them and really tell you if it's worth buying or not. But I'm just gonna give you my first impressions today and I'll keep you updated. Maybe I'll come back to the description box and give you a little update in maybe like a month's time. Peric Acid Serum by Revolution Skin. Again, I was really surprised by how affordable their products were. Can't beat good old hyaluronic acid. I love the feel of that. I'm trying to not go near the pimple patch. Already the skin is looking good. And they're gonna go in with the vitamin C brightening moisture cream by boots this is what the consistency of it looks like it's very thickish not thick thick but it's so moisturizing so like it, it smells like oranges like legit and i love that smell and then finally we have spf i did not think i was going to grab a spf so this is also a plus but it was literally like on reduction how could i not and i haven't tried this dark spot uv fluid bright reveal minus 53 percent dark spots no white casts non-sticky non-oily it's ultra light prevents aging and the appearance of dark spots that's what it looks like i mean the skin is looking good this is like this would be perfect for nighttime. okay let's see what this is giving this is really putting this to the test because we don't want no ashiness. 
like real time testing. Definitely passed the test. Oh, it's very hydrating as well. Oh, that feels so good. It smells really fresh as well. If your skincare does not look like this, you ain't doing it right. Okay, I'm really happy with the way my skin looks, the way it feels. Like I said, it's too early for me to really like give a seal of approval for the products I've just tried today for the first time. I mean, you can tell, look, you don't need more than that. Look at that. Anyways, that is it for today's challenge i would say if you want more like these i'm thinking to go for like a makeup shop maybe at sephora if you like the style of this video let me know in the comments have you tried any of these products are you gonna give them a go let me know and yeah thank you so much for stopping by to watch this video and i will see you in my next one